Never a dull moment, folks. Never a dull moment. That's technology for you. What you gonna do? Oh boy. Well, we're getting a little bit of a late start, which means I'm gonna have to accelerate into the drawing today because it's important for us to get our draw along done. It's important to look at our who made that today and then still have time for that animal and activity. Hope you're all doing well. I was panicking there trying to figure out what to do, but fortunately I figured out a backup solution and here we all are together. So let's get right to it. Um, hey gosh, I got a question for you before we begin. Uh, what is brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> Whew, all right, why don't we do some drawing? Come on, folks, grab yourselves a pen, a pencil, a marker, a stick with some cheese on it, and you can draw all over the plate. Whatever you want, doesn't matter. And we're gonna do a really fun, you draw it here. We'll get kicking off fast because we're behind schedule, as they say in England, jolly old England, all right. We're gonna draw a straight line right across the uh, canvas like so. Straight line. Does it have to be perfectly straight, Kyle? No, of course not. It can be wobbly if you wish. No big deal. Uh, don't you sweat it. Okay, next we're gonna draw a straight line down this way. Bloop. Okay, now how long is that line? What do you say? I don't know, let's make it a little longer. How does that feel? Feels about right. That's about eh, half the distance of the first line we drew, I'd say. We'll do it again over here for some symmetry action. And now we're gonna look for the center point of that first line. We're gonna drop straight on down. We're gonna make a V shape here. Okay, let me show you. It's kind of a shallow V. See that? Give myself a little target to aim for. And we just connect like that. And there we have a uh, nice little uh, trapezoid of some kind, right? Isn't that the right word I'm using there? My geometry probably needs a little brushing up, gang. All right, now I'm going to look at the center point again. I'm gonna come up about this far, and I'm gonna draw a line at an angle like that. See that? Okie dokie, okie dokie dokie dokie. And then I'm gonna look at the top of that line, and I'm gonna travel about halfway between there and this outside edge right here of that vertical line we drew. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do this. Draw a little circle. Okay, what's the hat about it? Like that. And over here we go down like that. Ha ha! I think we know what's going on. That fabric is stretching. Away. We're moving on. Well, I don't know what's going on, gang. Um, really sorry about this. Terrible, terrible time here with Wirecast or YouTube, I don't know which, but um, just stops broadcasting for some reason. And then I have to bounce back and forth between the stream URLs and the backup server URL. And it seems to go for a few minutes and then it, it just shuts me out again. I don't know what to tell you. Thanks for bearing with me. We only have a few minutes left, but this was your clue for the um, who made that. I'm, I'm concerned because I don't think people even got to finish the you draw it part of the show. Um, gosh. And let, let me just bounce back to that for a moment, okie dokie. So I'll hide this for just a sec. And let's go back to our, um, our drawing here. We were drawing a person in a mask, and I was hoping that you'd have time to personalize it and make it your own. Um, if you want to uh, just take a screen grab of this so you can see it and copy it later, uh, there it is. We, we had the opportunity, though, to add whatever kind of hair you wanted or clothing or if you want to add glasses or a background or anything like that, up to you, right? All right, so, but anyway, this was our Who Made That Clue? And I'm going to have to just jump ahead and reveal who it is because we just are running out of time here um, because of these technical difficulties. I, I hope the, the stream holds. I'm looking right now. I still have a green signal. So I have no idea what's going on. Alrighty, anyway, uh, we have this, this clue for you here. Samuel has guessed it right. It is, in fact, Keith Herring. Let's look at that. 
And um, here's that entire piece for you. And I'll just slide this over here so you can see it. Keith Haring, 1958 to 1990, did not live a very long life, did he? Um, but in his short life, he did so much. Uh, he was attending school for commercial art, didn't, didn't really like it. So he switched over and went to SVA in New York after two years. And while he was there, he met up with all kinds of really interesting artists, people like Basquiat and um, Andy Warhol and folks like that. Um, but before really becoming part of that scene, he would ride the subway in New York and he would see these ad panels, advertising panels and on the walls that were not being used and the ones that weren't being used would be covered in black paper. So he grabbed some white chalk and he did these really cool little chalk drawings, these linear drawings, all one unbroken line to, to do uh, the silhouette of a person, for example. And um, they were very graphic and uh, very, um, very bold drawings and they just stuck out and, and people started to be become familiar with them because they were all over the subways and he did hundreds of these. And you do them often because they would get uh, taken down. Anyway, um, he became uh, known for this and became internationally renowned and started having his, his own shows and so on. And then he opened this place called The Pop Shop. And um, this was a place where he could sell his work and make it available to lots of people. He believed art should be accessible, you know, not just uh, in a stuffy environment where you had to go to these expensive uh, places to, to acquire art or go to big fancy museums to see it and so on. He really wanted people to have more access to it. And that's what the pop shop was all about. Um, Keith was an activist and he, he died, it was, he contracted HIV or, or AIDS in 1988. And um, he then died obviously shortly thereafter. But in the time between when he was diagnosed with it and, when, and his death, he actually um, created all kinds of artwork and created the Keith Haring Foundation, which was helping to raise awareness and um, build activism uh, for AIDS. And so um, he'll be remembered for that forever. And he, the, the foundation's still going strong today. So uh, amazing guy. And um, I'm really glad to be able to share just a little bit of his work with you here, right here. And uh, look him up, look him up. Anyway, Adobe has partnered with the Keith Haring Foundation and we are giving away 37 brushes that you can use in Photoshop and Fresco. Um, they were designed by me. I had a blast making them and working with them. And this partnership has been really great. Uh, they're free. Just go grab them, please. And you can get them either through the library link that's on that page, or you can get them if you're in Photoshop. Uh, right here, you go to your brushes panel. Okie dokie. And you go up to here where it says, get more brushes. Okie dokie. And that'll take you to a link where you can grab them. Uh, so please enjoy those. And it is time for the animal and activity game. We're just rushing through here to get to the end because I really want to draw something for you all. Um, since that is what we do at the end, we always have somebody make a request and I try and draw it. I have about five minutes to make this happen. What can I do in five minutes? Will you be surprised? I think I can do something good. And so make a suggestion here in the chat and I will go ahead and draw whatever that is and I'll do it really fast and it should turn out well. I've got my light blue color here ready to sketch with and ready to do the work. So let's see how it goes, okay? Hey, Ariana, thank you so much. She said, those brushes are awesome. Well, I appreciate it. That's a really nice thing to say. Very, very nice. Um, all right, we have an orangutan playing basketball. Steve, you got it. I'm not, I know you're all gonna have all kinds of great ideas but I just got to move right through this, so let me do it. Here we go. Orangutan playing basketball, and let's do it. All right, there's that orangutan. And we're going to do... That. That's that head. I'm going to have the arm up here. Dribbling that ball. I'm having trouble remembering the shape of orangutan's head, but I think they have a good bit of hair on top, right? Fluffy hair. Something like that. And we're gonna have a little action pose here. So he's gonna be running towards us. Like that. Boy, I hope this connection holds, gang. It's been a it's been a weird day, hasn't it?
All right, there he is. There's that basketball. Be funny if his mouth was open. I think that's funnier. Okay, and we're gonna reduce the opacity of that like we always do. And let's see what I can do in just a few minutes here. Grab a darker color. And wish me luck, gang. Here we go. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Sometimes it's fun to just do eyes like that. You just do little, little eyes like that. And these can be more expressive than you realize. go. Here he comes. And we just throw that shirt on there. You know, with these kinds of lines, it's just, you gotta just kind of go for it, you know? Um, and I know that can be intimidating, but the sketch really helps with that, doesn't it? If not for that sketch, I'd, I'd be just lost, but having the sketch makes a big difference, right? There we go. Okay, and there's our basketball. And okay. Now folks, I have my master class tomorrow and I'm gonna talk about mistakes people commonly make when drawing the figure. Okay, that's a good one. Definitely want you to tune into that one and see what's up with that. Common mistakes lots of people make, and I'm gonna show you how to fix them. So tune in for that. That's gonna be a good one. Educational for everybody. I've got about a minute and a half, two minutes here to wrap this up. Um, But I think I did it. I think we're okay. I think we're in uh, decent shape here, right? I don't know if that's what orangutans look like. Probably not. If anything, if I remember correctly, orangutans' eyes are closer together, aren't they? I'm trying to picture an orangutan in my head. Um, yeah, that looks a little better. But hey, what do I know? Um, I'd have to look it up. But still, not bad, hey, that was fun, yay, we did it. And uh, don't forget, here is our drawing from earlier. There's that fella in a mask. Wish you all could have seen that. Um, too bad about the technical difficulties, but folks, what are you gonna do? You know what, this is the world we live in, technology. Uh, yeah, so hey, we all made it through, didn't we? Everybody take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Please be kind, I'll check you out next week. Same time, but tomorrow, master class for those of you who are into the heavy duty stuff, the illustration stuff, I'll see you then. Ciao for now, everybody take care.